Our character learned to move from a collection of unorganized human motion data using deep neural networks. In this video, the user controls the character interactively with a standardized game controller. The joystick at the low left corner controls the direction of the character. The user can trigger an action by pressing a button. It takes some time for the character to perform the action after the button is pressed. This delay is called response time. We want this character to be more agile and responsive by minimizing the response time. The easiest way is to playback motion data faster than the data were originally captured. However, the fast forward playback makes the character look hasty and unnatural. We present a new approach to learning a control policy, that allows the interactive character to respond quickly to the user's control, regardless of the size and composition of the training datasets. The character can walk, jog, and run while changing its speed and direction. Our controller can control the speed and responsiveness interactively. The slider bar in the upper right corner shows the time limit, which we call critical response time. The blue bar shows the time duration since the task was triggered. The time critical policy guarantees that the character always completes the user command within the critical response time. In this shuttle run example, the character runs back and forth between two lines making rapid U-turns while the system increases its responsiveness continuously from normal to very agile. The character overshoots less as it gets more agile. The goal of the character is to perform a chain of martial arts movements as rapidly as possible. The normal character controlled by the teacher policy moves along the shortest paths traversing through motion frames in the training datasets. The student policy achieves better responsiveness through policy distillation. In this slalom example, the Agile character can track the user inputs closely and thus can do the slalom easily along a smooth trajectory. The normal character, less agile than the previous one, has longer lags between user inputs and their responses. So, it makes abrupt movements to pass through the cones, sometimes bumping into the cones. Precise position control is required to interact with the virtual environment. The user controls the moving direction using a joystick and commands the character to jump when it is near an obstacle. Since the network policy can do position control, the user does not need to place the character in the exact location before triggering the command. Artist-created movements are often stylistic and exaggerated, and quite different from motion capture. This example demonstrates that our network model can also deal with artist-created movements. It is also possible to integrate artist-created and motion capture data seamlessly to allow time-critical transitions between them. Our control policy works not only for human-like characters, but also for quadruped animals. The horse control policy was learned from 5 minutes motion capture data. The interactive horse chooses appropriate gait from walk, trot, and canter depending on the desired speed. The horse can also roar, jump, and walk backwards. We compared our method against an RNN-based multi-action control model trained on the jump motion dataset. 
multi-action control model sacrifices motion quality to perform jumps within the critical response time. Our model balances motion quality and responsiveness. We can minimize the degradation of motion quality even with a short response time. The spatial responsiveness of teacher policy depends on the richness of the training datasets. Policy distillation improves control accuracy and responsiveness by allowing spatial deformation and time warping on the training data. Student policy can achieve fast responsiveness regardless of the amount of training dataset if motion quality is not considered.